Pizza Hut makes great pizza, but they can't tell you what a gift it is. Over the course of their existence, Pizza Hut has had quite a few harebrained ideas, from Marmite stuffed crust pizza to creating a pizza box that becomes a movie projector. Here are the 10 most insane pizzas exclusive to Pizza Hut. Taco Pizza. Who is ready for dinner? Oh, I bet it's pizza, tacos, or something stupid. No. People love pizza, and people love tacos. So who wouldn't love the combination of the two? This pizza was topped with shredded cheese, jalapenos, seasoned ground beef, tomatoes, taco sauce, and beans. It was released back in the 1980s, which makes it the oldest creation on this list. Unfortunately, the mysterious taco pizza hasn't seen the light of day for more than 30 years, though there are plenty of homemade recipes online trying to recreate its majesty. This has got us wondering, why can't they give us what we truly need, the taco pizza. Well, we'll all just have to keep waiting. Tacos, Tacos. right now. Cornflake covered crust. Mmm, stuffed crust. I'll stuff you all in the crust. <laughs> in Kuwait, you can order your pizza crust coated with cornflakes just to add a bit of that extra crunchy texture. You're probably thinking that there are other ways to add some crunch to your crust, and that's certainly true, but is it as much fun? While this may seem a little nutty at first glance, it's actually not so crazy as some of the other crusts we've seen rolling out of Pizza Hut's ovens. Pizza Man! Pizza Man! I got pizza here! Who wants pizza, man? Let's not forget that cornflakes have long been used as a staple in cooking. There are plenty of cornflakes-based recipes that you wouldn't have thought of. They're not just for eating in a bowl with milk. So while cornflake-covered crust sounds like a weird idea, maybe it's not as strange as you thought. And hey, everyone's eaten cold leftover pizza as breakfast. The added cornflakes now just makes that breakfast pizza slice a little bit more legitimate. Okay, I'll just uh, put it in the fridge. It's even better the next day. Cheeseburger crust pizza. Can I have a cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger? Sure. When Pizza Hut released the cheeseburger crust pizza in 2012, customers were skeptical. Much like the name suggests, this pizza has adorably round hamburgers in place of the crust, effectively ending the age-old argument of hamburgers versus pizza. With this creative invention, you can enjoy both. Pizza crust once only served one purpose, to be held while eating the rest of your triangular slice. But Pizza Hut UK has given it a much more important important mission, to be a delivery system for even more meat and cheese. Not that we're complaining. Was this a bit of overkill? Maybe, but Pizza Hut knows what they're doing in terms of attracting customers. People love saying that they tried out ridiculous food, and this certainly falls into that category. <sighs> Do I have something in my teeth? The only issue with this pizza is how you would go about holding each slice. Do you grab the hamburger end or the pizza end? Would you forsake the name of handheld foods and go in with a fork and knife? These are the questions that anyone who doesn't live in the UK might have if they've never experienced this slice of insanity. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. Poutine topped pizza. It's a French-Canadian delicacy called poutine. Is there anything more purely Canadian than a good quality serving of poutine? This classic snack originated in Quebec and has become a staple part of fast food restaurants for all Canadians. Only Pizza Hut Canada could get away with something so distinctly Canadian. This is just like any old regular pizza, except it's topped with golden fries, deliciously melted cheese curds, and gravy. And listen, we know that pizza already has cheese on it, so there's not much of a point of adding more, but cheese curds are an absolute must when it comes to poutine. Pizza Hut Canada knows their customer base well. They've sprinkled this pizza with just the right amount of those scrumptious cubed bits of heaven. Oh, and they also added some steak, just to make sure you get enough protein in your diet. How thoughtful. This beast was released in 2013 and was part of Pizza Hut's Five Pizza Limited edition Something for Every Canadian menu, which was inspired by Canada's cultural diversity. This is why he go to Canada. 
This pizza was only available in the Great White North, and it was advertised as a unique spin on a true Canadian classic. Well, they've certainly got the unique part down. In any case, this is definitely something to pick up on your next trip to Pizza Hut, eh? Who wants some poutine? I do. I do. Okay. I want cheese. Giant Cookie Pizza. What you doing? Pizza stuff. Same. In 2014, they released something called the Giant Cookie Pizza, which is essentially just a giant cookie. But what are we really looking at here? Is it just a big cookie? This 8-inch giant chocolate chip cookie is sliced just like a pizza and is available for dine-in, pickup, or delivery. If it's shaped like a pizza and it's delivered like a pizza, that means it must be a pizza, right? We're not here for any philosophical debates, and what really matters is that this is just another example of Pizza Hut's kooky inventions. The pizza cookie was an addition to the dessert menu they had at the time, which also offered Hershey's Chocolate Dunkers, a sweet treat that was made from pizza dough and topped with a touch of white chocolate and Hershey's milk chocolate. To highlight the giant cookie's launch, Pizza Hut's 6,300 U.S. restaurants hosted a bake sale to sell the cookies, with 10% of each cookie sale going to the World Food Program, a humanitarian agency that fights world hunger. While it may be hard to stomach an 8-inch monstrosity, it certainly goes down better knowing that there's an act of charity behind the entire thing. Just don't forget your giant glass of milk. Give me a milk. Chocolate. Hot dog stuffed crust. Do you like hot dogs? Yes, I do. This pizza, which is surrounded by tiny bite-sized hot dogs, combines the much-loved greasy cheesiness of pizza with hot dogs. This certainly gets points for experimentation, but we ask again, how do you eat this exactly? Do the hot dogs have classic hot dog toppings on them, like ketchup, mustard, or relish? This innovation was first released in Asia, then the UK, then Australia, then in Canada, and then finally in the US. Surprisingly, it was garnering rave reviews worldwide, with many saying that this pizza was the stuff of dreams, reaching new levels of culinary delight. While this seems to be one of the most all-American pizzas on this list, in terms of some of the other crazy fast food offerings served up across the USA, this one is rather tame. While it was only released in America for a few short months in 2012, the hot dog stuffed crust made a glorious return in 2015. Alas, it was only available for another short few months, but hey, if it made a return once, it can happen again. At least, that's what we're hoping for. Oh, hot dog coming through. Mac and cheese topped pizza. Mac and cheese, chili pizza on a bun. Mac and cheese on pizza? That's comfort food stacked on top of comfort food. Comfort times two. Comfortception. Loaded with penne, mushrooms, and cheese, this isn't for the faint of heart or for the weak of stomach. Pizza Hut Germany is responsible for this particular Franken pizza, and we adore it. That was trippy. Is there such a thing as a bad pizza? Some say yes, most would say no. What we know for sure is that this pizza falls directly into the good pizza classification. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Some may say that putting mac and cheese on a pizza, which already has plenty of cheese, is going too far. To those people, we say, where's your spirit of adventure, of innovation? This combination may seem overwhelming at first, but man, the moment you lay eyes on that delicious golden pie, your mouth will be watering like a ravenous wolf's. Okay, maybe not, but you get the idea. Really, this pizza has surprisingly good reviews. It's sure to fill you up, and it's extremely rich going down. Even if combo pizzas aren't your thing, this is certainly worth a few bites, just to say you've tried it. And that sort of humanity deserves reward. I'm taking you to the Pizza Hunt. Durian Pizza. They stink? Yes. No. Oh man, this one is a doozy. For those of you who aren't familiar with durian, this Asian fruit is notorious for smelling absolutely terrible. It smells so bad, in fact, that it's actually banned in many types of public transport across Thailand, Japan, and Hong Kong. In Singapore, taxis will even go so far as to carrying signs that specifically say they won't carry passengers transporting the smelly fruit. I like the way you stink. 
Those who have smelled it describe it as a combination of turpentine and onions garnished with a gym sock. Though it's probably way worse to those who didn't grow up passing by grocer stalls selling these fruits in markets. And those who turned their nose at durian aren't even close to ready for Hong Kong's stinky tofu. In any case, putting it on top of a Pizza Hut pizza was a very bold move indeed, and it's definitely got us raising our eyebrows. If you thought pineapple on pizza was a deal breaker, wait until you try this. In China, the advert for this hot pie states that only big chunks of durian can satisfy your cravings. According to the pizza chain, the durian pizzas actually sold surprisingly well, which means that there are a lot more bold foodies out there than we expected. Hats off to you. Too decadent for current tastes. More crust than you could ask for. The sound, the crust, the sound. At Pizza Hut Singapore, they've done the unimaginable. They've added even more crust to their pizzas. Did they simply make the crust thicker or increase the diameter of the pizza? No, they decided to plop a second crust smack dab in the middle of the pizza. There's more crust on this side. There is a reason for this, though. The inner crust is filled with sausages, giving us a purpose to pick up the extra crust. But couldn't they have just added more sausage to the pizza to begin with? Why go through so much effort to create more crust when everyone's least favorite part of the pizza is usually the crust? While this is probably just a way for the company to make a few bucks on the novelty of it all, we really just want to know what was going through their minds when they released this one. Please, Pizza Hut, we just want to talk. In any case, if you're part of the 1% of the population that actually enjoys the crust, this was specifically made for you. Yes, you. The one who eats everyone else's leftover crust. Pizza in a movie? Thick or thin crust? Gotta be thin. Good. Topped with fish and chips. Fish, chips, cup of tea. While this is unconventional, it's certainly one way to make your pizza unique and stand out. It seems as though Pizza Hut is really just throwing anything on their pizza and seeing what sticks. And can we really blame them? Pizza Hut Indonesia has decided to test out the theory that customers will really just buy anything with this innovation. And you know what? We're a little bit perplexed as to why this actually works. While these aren't two meals you would see combined in literally any other context, this just seems to work okay together. Yeah, we don't know why either. Is it paving the way for other fish-themed pizza? No. Is it amazingly delicious for your taste buds? Also, no. But is it disgusting? Apparently not. This pizza is topped with potato chips and crispy fish. And while the flavor combination is questionable, it's kind of like getting two meals in one. You're going over there as a representative of Captain Hook Fish and Chips. We've got a lot more on our menu. Just tap on one of our other great videos. Show some love and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.